Michelle has an Avisius won an Oscar for directing the French film The Artist. So I'm not sure what possessed him to take on the dual challenge of doing a remake and a zombie film, neither of which gets much respect. But the result is a blood splattered Valentine to the passion and teamwork it takes to make a movie. Final Cut is a nesting doll of reanimated corpses. It's a French remake of the Japanese zombie film One Cut of the Dead, which was about a movie crew whose horror shoot is disrupted by real zombies. A film de zombie? Et, uh, et attends, alors, le truc, c'est que ça doit être en plan séquence. The gimmick in both is that the opening sequence is a 30-minute single take of gory mayhem, followed by a replay of the sequence from a hilarious behind-the-scenes perspective. So the very meta end product is a film within a film, within a film. <laughs> Final Cut is ultimately a delight, but I urge people to be patient with the bad zombie makeup, stupid script, and dubious acting of the one-shot opening. Trust me, it all pays off deliciously in the end, and you'll leave the cinema inspired to get your friends together to make a ridiculous blood-soaked zombie film of your own. But horror of a more serious nature is available streaming on Shudder. Jennifer Reeder's perpetrator pulls something of a bait-and-switch, but in a good way. It sets you up for sadistic horror involving young girls, but just as you're about to settle into formulaic expectations, it changes course. Or rather, it takes a more interesting and circuitous route to the final girl resolution. Johnny is our final girl, and she's a bit wild. She's also about to discover something about a family curse or spell that takes effect on a girl's 18th birthday. A girl like you cannot afford to be stupid and selfish. No and when several teen girls go missing at her new school, she decides to turn her curse to her advantage. Reader's film has high ambitions as it whips up a cocktail of horror styles. There's a lot to appreciate, but Reader lacks the mastery of craft that's needed to bring all these elements together in a seamless manner. But there's enough of interest on display to make it worth checking out on Shudder. And while you're on Shudder, make sure you also watch One Cut of the Dead. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, your resident cinema junkie here at KPBS. And if you want to get more of what Cinema Junkie recommends, then please hit the like and subscribe button. And check out my playlist for more of my reviews. And thanks.